Hi Tappers. What do you do when you don't have the love that you want? Now this heartache can range from a lover that hasn't shown up yet, a lover who you had but now is gone, or a friendship that shifted, a child, a person, or a pet that grew up, passed away, moved away, or otherwise left you with a rift in your heart. How do you console and heal that wound? Well, I have a few suggestions that have greatly helped me, and I hope they do the same for you. Not too long ago, I shared an advanced technique with you. The link is below if you missed it. It's a technique where I showed you how to have conversations with others that you couldn't have in real life. If you are missing someone that you already know, this technique is great. I mourned the loss of a friend and had several conversations this way, and they didn't really lead to much. I didn't have much specific to say, but feeling their presence whenever I wanted until I was ready to think of them and not ache for that was very soothing. I also used this technique directly after a very painful breakup, and I wanted a partner to love, but I had no prospects or even a celebrity crush to entertain. So I gathered up attributes that I know I appreciate, and I formed a person in my imagination. Whenever I felt sad or lonely, I would choose to sit and go on a date. And what I didn't know at the time tappers was that I was adjusting my neural network and my inner chemistry to a much more healthy and ready state to accept in reality what I was creating in my mind. Did I feel silly? Yup. Did I worry about getting delusional, getting lost in fantasy rather than finding reality? I did, but it helped. So I held to the solution and eventually it shifted and naturally fell away. Now we tend to have a fear in comforting ourselves or finding a way to feel happy in this moment because it might be wrong. It may not honor their memory quite right or it might make me soft and forget the pain and the suffering that this person caused and they don't deserve another chance. Or if I'm happy without my soulmate, maybe they will never come. When you don't have the love that you want, it's okay for that to hurt. It's also okay to find ways to make it hurt less. A really ridiculous metaphor would be if you got physically hurt, say you cut your finger on a sharp edge and you were bleeding and you were putting the same boundaries on this healing. Well, pff, I can't get a bandage or I mean, I might do it again. So I guess I'll bleed for forever. So I know that I've learned my lesson. Allow yourself emotional bandages too, even if it is just for a dumb accident or mistake. And finding creative ways to soothe yourself doesn't jinx you from finding long-term joy. It also isn't intended to be a cure necessarily. Having dates in my head with my imaginary boyfriend helped me feel not so alone, but it didn't take away the desire to have a real partner. It did, however, get me into a good enough headspace that allowed me to truly consider who was in front of me physically in real life and our potential rather than jumping into a relationship because I wanted to get away from the pain of feeling alone so much. And showing up for myself to alleviate that pain helped to plant the seeds for self-love that I would find later on. I hope this brings you some comfort if you're confused about the process, watch the video below. It'll go all the way through it. I hope this helps and I'll see you soon.